So um, what I heard, uh, the first question to be is basically, um, how do we ensure that community ownership and control actually happens um, in the uh, Curtis Bay situation? Um, the, the, the short answer for me is making sure that there are real um, community-based organizations that have organized themselves, that have uh, engaged in a campaign which they have, and have that has enabled them to have the social and political power to push for their demands. So I would say that that level of community organization, um, campaign development, and very clear about what the community is interested in. Um, and I know that in, in the Curtis Bay community, they have had a series of uh, conversations in community, as well as brought in experts to talk to them about the, the ways in which uh, community solar could work. So I think the timing question is always going to be an issue. Um, clearly, most communities are uh, out resourced by corporate interests um, who have very significant lobbies in, in Maryland as well, uh, but that the key really is organized communities. And organized communities have historically been able to uh, be the David and the Goliath situation. Um, and, and I think that Baltimore, several Baltimore communities are well positioned to be able to do that and lots of folks are uh, supporting the Curtis Bay uh, redevelopment of their site. Echoing what Dawkins said, that you can't really race against capital. Uh, in a, I mean, a big, fast machine is going to outrun the fastest runner. So if we're going to make sure that the grassroots communities remain at the tables, that's a political issue that's going to have to come out of the political power of those communities demanding that the local governments set up conditions by which they can be at the, at the table at the appropriate time. If the simple question is who can do it fastest, it will be whoever has the biggest pile of money. But that can't be allowed to be the question. And what keeps that from being the question is the political organization of the community fighting for their place at that table and holding off. I mean, people here know what protective tariffs were and why they existed. So we have to, in a similar kind of way, have local government protecting these spaces so that we can build and develop in. It's only the right thing to do.